Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new offering from Walther, the Walther Paris in 22 caliber. Let's check it out. So on top of the muzzle brake here, we have our hooded uh, red True Glow sight. Now you have a True Glow in the front here and just flat black in the back. It actually makes it pop really nicely in my opinion. Made the front, or the front and the rear uh, match up nicely and was very easy to use. Uh, you have your standard click adjustments here for the windage and the elevation on the rear sight. Uh, again, very easy to use, but to see a gun like this, the real accuracy of it, you're probably going to go to a scope anyway. Uh, so to mount the scope, we have an 11 millimeter dovetail up here. Uh, for the review today, we mounted a Mantis 4 to 12 by 40 with the mill dot and the adjustable objective uh, on a Leapers one-piece mount here. This is uh, a pretty sturdy base, and the gun does have a stop pin hole to accommodate the stop pin on the Leapers mount, which is really nice. I uh, love that feature. You have to have one, especially on a Magnum spring gun like this. It, it's just uh, something that, in my opinion, should be there on anything. The Paris does have an automatic safety here located right on the back. You can just flip it forward after you cock the rifle. It'll automatically go on to safe so it flips back. Just flip it forward when you're ready to fire. Very simple. A nice adjustable trigger here on the front. It is a two-stage trigger out of the box. A little bit of take up and there is a little bit of creep in the second stage just out of the box. I would normally adjust it out but trying to give you guys the most authentic experience here. Um, and obviously we'll put it on the, uh, the trigger pull tester and see how it does there. Uh, the stock itself, I went for the composite stock version. It is also available in a wood stock, but uh, like on the Terrace, I actually kind of prefer the flared forend of the stock here. Uh, it just feels right in the hand. Uh, you have a rubber butt pad on the back and a slightly raised cheek piece on both sides, so the left-handed shooters aren't at any disadvantage there. Um, really nice feel though. It is a relatively heavy rifle at about nine, nine and a half pounds or so. Uh, the scope's going to bump it up over that, but uh, other than being a little heavy, it's about 40 pounds of cocking effort, which is not too unmanageable for the power level they're talking about. It's rated at a thousand feet per second. Um, obviously we're going to find that out. I, I doubt it's going to hit quite a thousand with anything with, you know, lead based, but we'll see. Um, it should do pretty well. So, uh, that about wraps it up as far as looking at the gun. Let's head out to the range and see how she does. bad. You know guys, if you take the time to learn your artillery hold, Paris is a shooter.
Two pounds, seven ounces. Two pounds, eight ounces. So about three pounds, give or take. So that about wraps it up guys for the Walther Paris. Uh, other than the name and the weight of the gun, I think this is a really solid value for your dollar, uh, especially for a Magnum Springer in the market right now. Uh, you know, good trigger, which is not something you find at the price point. Uh, like I said, it's a little hefty, but the stock feels really, really nice. It's not very buzzy, doesn't have a whole lot of twang to it once it's broken in. Uh, we put about 750 or 800 rounds through this, and it's really impressive. I mean, you know, to be putting down roughly a, a 5 8 group or a 0.6 inch group at 20 yards is plenty for squirrels. You know, you got a roughly inch and a half here, and these four are in three quarters of an inch at 45 yards. Uh, Magnum spring gun that's uh, you know just broken in and, and one that that I have very little time to practice with so to speak uh, is actually really solid so this is a great value especially putting out 23 24 foot pounds uh, really solid uh, one from Walther I, I really like this gun if it's a little too heavy for you the Terrace is always an option but I think the Walther Paris is really a home run and a great value so give it a look uh, that wraps it up for the Pyramid Insider today guys I'm Tyler Patner we'll see you at the next one